my friends! Today I'm going to show you how to paint waterfalls. Behind me is a landscape that I've been working on for a little while and I thought it'd look really nice to put a waterfall going right down the center of this painting. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Also, I made a list of all the things you'll need to make this painting in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed to Paint Good with Chad yet, please do that right now. And also give this video a thumbs up. On my palette here, I've mixed some Viridian with Thalo Blue, Titanium White, and Ivory Black to make this green color. That's going to be my water. And then over here, I've mixed some Cadmium Red with Titanium White and made pink. That's going to be for my reflections. Mostly I'll be using Titanium White, and I want to make sure it's pretty thinned out with my paint thinner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load my signature brush with some titanium white and I'm going to go off into the background here and make a really small waterfall. Let's get started. So I'm focusing on just keeping the top half of it the lightest part. And I'm not reloading my brush. I'm just doing continuous down strokes. I just reloaded my brush again. I just want to make it a little bit wider up here on the top. Now I'm just, just, just doing little dabbing motions here just to make it look more like splashing water. Just light tapping. I'm just doing little upward strokes. There. Now I'm going to take my palette knife and just do a little scratching in the center here. So the first thing I'm going to do here, since this is a dry painting, I'm going to go in with my green color and I'm just going to decide where my waterfall is going to be. And I'm just going to kind of mark in some color here just to get it. Now I'm going to go in with my titanium white and I'm just going to decide where my waterfall is going to start. Just doing downward strokes, same as the last one. And you can jiggle it a little bit to get it the bubbly effect.
Now I'll go back in with my signature brush and I can just go in and add little details where I think they're needed, like little splashes coming out here and there. Like that. Add little highlights where you think they're needed. Just lightly stroking the canvas, lightly. Now I'm going to go in with my palette knife, just make little lines here and there. Maybe a little comes off the edge right here, so let's do that with the signature brush. Now I'm just using my signature brush and just doing circular motions creating that mist and bubbly stuff that happens at the base of the waterfall. Splashes here too.
So I just dried my brush off and now I'm just dabbing the edges of these white marks that I've made just to kind of blur them out a little bit. Now I think it needs a little dark area right about here. So I just got some green. Put some green on the brush. Going back in. And darkening in some little highlighted areas. Okay, so now I'm going to put some water in down here. And I've just got my green color again. And I'm going to basically just mark in the dark areas of the water that I want and just kind of figure out where it's all going to go. I'm using the green as a reflection of the side. I'm just doing back and forth strokes, making kind of a, a moon shape. Now I'm going to go in on the other side and do the same thing. Now I'm going to go in with my pink color that I made earlier and I'm going to go in and I'm going to focus on the center of the painting. And I'm just going to do back and forth, kind of blend it in with the green. Now with a dry mop brush, I'm just going to lightly go over this just to blend it a little bit. Now with my white, I'm going to go in on the edges here and I'm just going to kind of add some little things here, indicating where the water is meeting the shore. Maybe a couple of rocks live about right here. So let's put one right there. So this is just white and black. I would just add the little ripples of water that would be splashing around next to this rock here. That should do it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Be seeing you.